Holy! Now you have my attention. Suddenly the fun house doesn't look very fun. Had to learn the hard way that um, you can't walk around floor that's broken. Which is fine. I guess. Who knew I was so good at breaking things? Yeah, well done. Right, stupid wheelchair. This game's not bad for 17p. <laughs> Bunny hop. Get out of this room ASAP. Still coming, it's so scary. Let's go this way. Fuck no. Doing good, doing good. As long as I keep moving, I should be fine. quicker. He is getting quicker. Just keep calm. Oh my god. Flat bar. What's that mean? I think I read it right. I'm panicking. We haven't been down here. Do we want to go down here? An air vent. This is going to slow me down, isn't it? Oh my god, look how slow he goes! Oh my god! Fucking hell! Trying to get me killed. I'm going back up. Screw that. That way the blade death trap. Oh fuck. He's coming. Bye bye.
shitting myself. Fucking shitting myself. My God! This is scary! Very I'm fucking shitting myself. It's game over, guys. Fuck it. Anxiety levels too high, I'm panicking. Can't handle this. My God! When I die, I'm I'm quitting. Fuck this game. Panicking. This is me running all the time because I'm shitting myself. Ah! My God! We're going in the circle, aren't I? Doing well. I'm cornered. says I'm no good with tools. 
Okay, awesome. Fucking hell, man. I'm guessing there's no hardware store close by. The hat man! Machine handle. What the fuck do they want me to do with this? The barbecue is now officially over. Help me. Help you. Fucking hell. I think I'm just barely surviving. Yes. <sighs> Doing well, Mikey. Fucking use it, man. New area, let's go. New area. Been quite lucky working stuff out, so I hope it's gonna be easy from now on still. So I've never played this before. 
apart from my first part. So. All looks the same down here. Fucking hell. Those doorways are buggy, they slow you down sometimes. Fuck you! Where are you? <laughs> Get away from that bitch. There's three monsters I've found so far, that's just intense. This hammer. What the hell do I want hammer for? Number six. Right. There's a ghost coming. up this game. Why do I put myself through these stupid horror games? Seriously. Okay, this is new. That sounds new too. Grab it, grab it, grab it. Go, 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 go. Now we're cooking with gas. Doing good, doing good. I'm still shit myself though. Don't know what I'm meant to do with these matches. Come on, don't get stuck. <sighs> this is serious progress. Fuck his shysa. There's a Where are you? No Leave me alone. I'm not edible. I don't know. <laughs> Leave me alone. No, go away. Ah, cramp in my leg. Shit. Not helping. That's a dead end. Fuck that. Good. Just get a couple more pages. I swear I just went in a straight line. So let's go somewhere different.
One more, please. I don't care if you get me. Yes. Or maybe one more after that. I don't know. Go left. Help me. Fuck. She's coming. She's coming. Where are you? Ah! I lost her. Oh fuck, dead end, dead end. Don't want that. Let's go this way. Come on, just one more page. One more. Dead end. One more page, seriously. Come on, don't get stuck. There's got to be something here, surely. No. Might have to check out that dead end. Fuck, she's coming! Where are you? I'm nowhere, I'm nowhere. This is your shadow. Don't follow it. <laughs> Ten hours later. <laughs> door is not good. Probably just... No, I'm fine. I think. Shit! Fuck you! Where are you? No! Go away! Go away! She's on my ass! No, I took the wrong turn! Shit! This might cost me. Go left, I think. That was close. Seriously, that was close. 
Made many toilets everywhere. I'm not sure how long I can how long I can survive like this. It's quite Where are you? difficult to survive this game. I can't even read that achievement, it's so tiny. Where are you? Oh my god! That means she's close. These matches do. Do something. Where are you? Oh, fuck. Just give me one more page, please. I have to give up in a minute. I'm getting scared now. Uh, I'm pretty scared. I swear I'm going the same way all the time. Must be missing something. Jeez, if I do a hard turn around the corner and she's there, I'm just dead. Game over. Help me. I can't help you for I live. I feel like pausing it and looking up what the matches do, but come on, fuck's sake. doing now. Just surviving. Is this randomly generated, do you think? Or is this proper level design? Help me. <laughs> she was close then. It's very close. Like next to me close. I think Where are you? Oh my god. She's on my ass still.
definitely a good survivor, that's for sure. I do want to beat this game though. Don't want to give up just yet. I might be checking the rooms a bit more better though now, because I'm starting to think running down the cor corridor and listening for shit. It's not working very well now. It did work. All oh, right, this excellent new. Help me. Me. Help me. One wrong turn and I'm fucked. Help me. Fuck off. Now I'm going the wrong way for sure. Help me. Go away. Nobody wants help you. You, you try to kill them. <laughs> help me. Ah, <laughs> she's too. <laughs> she's too bloody f frequent. Ah. Help me. Okay, I heard a page. Don't worry, I'm going back up. Help me. Please don't get me here. Please don't get me here. Please don't get me here. Help me. I have to go back. Help me. Stop following me. Okay, this way. I saw her in front of me, so... Help me! Oh no, I think... Where I are you? Yes! What's that mean? Help me! What's that mean? Did I do it? Saving? Wow! Saved? Yes! I'm happy, I'm happy. But I think I'm effed. <sighs> Doing pretty damn good. There was a delay on the save, did you see that? Big ass delay. Need to figure out these matches though. bad feeling that she's going to be an ultra screamer if she jumps against me. There's so many dead ends now. I don't like that.
What was that noise? It's like a hell wind. Fuck. I'm not sure I can do this much longer. Seriously. Dead ends. Man. I'm so effed. I want to say it seems quite safe now. There's so many dead ends. Gonna have to go in the vent, aren't I? that's helped at all. This is just big is a big maze. I keep getting lost in it. Thought there was a monster there, but it was the sparks. <sighs> it's got to be something. It's obvious to do the matches. What the hell do we need to burn? Let's walk around with the matches now. going to dark. Fuck, no, that's not going dark. I'm getting scared by light bulbs now. I think I'm safe. You know, there's doesn't seem to be any monsters. I'm lying awake in bed, my neck sore from sleeping on one pillow. I asked for another, but I need a doctor's order to have more than one. My sleep medicine is worn off, and I'm once again a prisoner to my insomnia. I decided I might as well start writing things down like they asked. I'll get bonus points towards extra dessert, and something to do for now. I can hear the person in the next room snoring, people whispering, and the phone ringing at the nurse's station outside. I'm remembering the dream I had last night, where a tall man in a hat came to my bedside and told me he would take me away soon. I'm making a mental note to mention it to the doctor later. Community group is over. I'm not sure who thought having insane people entertain each other was a good idea. Surprisingly, everybody was there today. Nobody killed themselves. That makes it a good day. Somebody cried today, but somebody always cries. Today's goal is to keep myself distracted and try not to think of new ways of killing myself. I told them I'm past it. Been there, done that, I said. But they didn't think it was funny. I remember something else about my dream. The man in the hat was wearing all black. Even his hat was black, and his skin was black. His eyes. I can't describe his eyes. 
It was like he had no eyes, just empty sockets that seemed to be pooling on my soul. I remember being so happy when he said he would take me away from here, but now I'm afraid of where he might take me. Process group with the social workers seemed like a huge waste of time. Everything we talked about after they said we were having sloppy joes for lunch seemed to have nothing to do with me. I tried bringing up my dream, but that just led to a discussion of more medication. As everyone was getting up to leave, Tanya walked me to the bookcase, reached behind it, and pulled out a book. She told me to read about the shadow people, and specifically someone referred to as the hat man. She said I would find my answer there. For recreational therapy, I read Tanya's book. It was a journal written by other patients about their encounters in the asylum with the shadow people. A couple had even seen the hat man just the way I did. I was still reading when they called lights out. Now, I don't claim to know much, but reading about a man who paralyzes people, chokes them, and steals their soul is not recommended reading for insomniacs just before bedtime. But now I know who I'm dealing with, even if it's only the meds creating him in my head. I'm not dead. At least I don't think I am. My butt still hurts from the chair I sat in while reading. I have to spend all of eternity with a sore butt. Those people should really get a padded chair. He got into my head. I saw him and tried to escape, but he got into my head. It's those eyes. It seems like some sort of limbo, somewhere between life and death. I don't see anyone else, so I guess I'm on my own. It's strange that the only thing I have is my journal. It must be because I was holding it when I got here. If I learn anything, I will write it in my journal. It seems like it might be the key if I ever want to get back. I'm attaching a picture here from the book of the hat man. If I go missing, go look for him. What if I disappear and no one comes looking? I need to make it through the night. I've definitely crossed over to somewhere. I'm not dead. At least I don't think I am. My butt still hurts from the chair I sat in while reading. This place is like the hospital after they let it go for a century or two. Just before I got here, I remember seeing the hat man, and I tried to escape, but he got into my head. It's those eyes. I found a flashlight. This looks like some sort of limbo, somewhere between life and death. The best part? Nobody here telling me what to do. Strange I still have my journal. I was holding it when I got here. If I learn anything, I'll write it in my journal. It seems like it might be the key, if I ever want to go back. I've not seen him here yet, but I heard him. As soon as I did, I hid and let him pass by. It's like he knows I'm here, but not where I am. I think when I don't move, he loses track of me. I tried crouching and turning off the flashlight, and those seemed to help. He seemed to go away faster. Running is the worst, so I try not to run. When he was near, I could hear my own heart beating. I've never been this scared. This place is really messed up. I go down one hall, backtrack, and everything has changed. If this is a maze, then I have no idea which way is forward. But since I can't go back, I need to keep looking. There has to be something to this place, and I need to find it. I didn't see him, but I heard him. He was so close, I heard his groan. After he left, I realized the hallway I ran down has a huge hole in it. If he had chased me down, I would have been stuck. Literally. There are huge spikes at the bottom. The only thing big enough to put across it is the board nailed into the wall next to it, but I'm not strong enough to pry it off. I need to avoid this hallway. Hopefully, I won't be its next victim. Something happened. The hallway with a hole in it now has a board across it. It's like the wall just crumbled. Or somebody made it crumble. Maybe there is somebody else in here after all. If there is, I have to find them. Or, if you read this, maybe you can find me. Is this a dream? Or was I dreaming before? Maybe it's the drugs. It is nice here, in a way. No one judging me, nothing expected of me. No one to disappoint. What does the hat man want from me? Doesn't he know that I already challenged death and won? Life is consciousness, and I am here. He can't beat me. 
I am coming for you, Hat Man. I just need to figure out how to beat him. A broken elevator? I don't think the maintenance crew has been here in a couple decades. Can it even be fixed? I wonder where it goes. Up, I hope. This is messed up. I just wandered into what has to be the electroshock room, and there's somebody in there still getting treated and no way to turn it off. That is so wrong. Maybe that's what the hat man wants me for. A new person to charbroil for all of eternity. Well, that's not me. Time to be a little more careful where I step. Looks like this place is playing for keeps. The elevator is working now. Yeah. How is that possible? I did I'm it. getting the feeling that someone is here with me, but I don't see anyone. Is someone reading my journal entries? Well, that can't be possible. My journal is with me all the time. I read somewhere that fear is a primal reaction to the unknown. The more time I spend here, the more I realize that I don't know. The more I'm afraid. Rode down the elevator since there was no up option. I'm not sure how many floors it was. There are a lot of new rooms here. My favorite is the morgue. I can't move the drawers. They won't open or close. But one was open far enough, and I was small enough that I climbed in. It was empty. I figured I could lie down and rest, and the hat man would never get me. I peeked out when he was in the room, and he never came near me. At the far end of the drawer, I found a cross. I figure it's my good luck piece, so I'm going to keep it. I'm starting to think I may be here forever. My own private hell. Not that anyone will miss me, and I don't blame them. I was pretty mean to all of them. It's frustrating that the world does not work the way it does in my head. They thought I was a strong one, that I didn't hurt. Well, I showed them. And now I'm gone. I don't even know if they're missing me. Do they even notice? Will they even care? Because I want them to care. At least now I do. I need to go back. I have no idea if I even can, but I need to go back. Okay, hat man. You and me need to have a little talk. That was a close one. The hat man cornered me. I had nowhere to go. So I pulled out my lucky cross and he backed off. Something about it makes him stay away. I asked him like a thousand questions and he just stared at me. When I asked him about getting out of here, a bunch of images flashed through my head. The first was my dad carrying my lucky cross and entering a cave. The second was my journal, but it was all dark and creepy and on fire. The third was in some chapel and the hat man, my creepy journal, and I think it was me, all just suddenly disappeared. After seeing that, I got past him and ran. I needed to get a way to write it down since I couldn't hold the cross and write at the same time. I found a safe place. Now what to do? From the beginning, I felt someone here is helping me. Someone's reading my journal or my mind and helping me deal with my problems. As hard as it is to imagine, the hat man showed me my dad here trying to find me. Trying to get me home. The thing I don't get is, he was carrying my lucky cross. He could never have gotten to it even if he knew where it was. Maybe it's my turn to help him. Dad, if you're reading this, I'm putting the cross on my bed and then I'll go hide. Find my bed and it'll be right there. Maybe I don't deserve it, but I need your help. I want another chance. I want to go back. It's up to you. Okay. Find her bed. assume it's safe now. Gonna try quite hard to find the bed.
don't want to give up. I think this is some serious progress I made. At least I know what I'm looking for now. though this is really hard there's a couple of beds here Book in the top right, left corner, sorry. It's creepy. So, in my opinion, the air vent is pointless. I went down there, nothing. So. Might be a long video, but I'm only playing for fun, so. do that again. Oh, I'll try to get up there. Damn. Guess I can't. so far I just don't want to quit. This was so difficult to get to this area. I can't seem to figure out what to do though. At least I know it's perfectly safe to explore, but still, what the hell am I meant to do?
man. I'll stop the stream there and if I find anything I'll make a part 3.